all right so today we're going to be covering a meme coin and as we all know whenever money flows out of bitcoin you know it becomes altcoin season flows out of those altcoins and then it becomes meme coin season so what we're going to be talking about today is a meme coin that i was actually requested by one of the subscribers shout out to you guys like i said leave your comments in the comment section let me know what you want me to go over next as long as it's not some type of scam coin because i've seen some coins that you guys mentioned that were just some random out of the nowhere coins but this is a meme coin that's playing off of another meme coin and that is this pepe 2.0 so we're going to go over this right now remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this financial advice but let's talk about this so pepe 2.0 up 10.1 percent in the last 24 hours so it's been moving up it's been moving up a lot if you look at what it's done in the last 30 days 273 percent it's kind of pulling back right now and it's getting ready to go back up and um, right now it has 39 million dollar market cap very low market cap uh the, tw the 24 hour trading value is at 33 million that means that people are trading so fast right now like money's going in money's going out just as fast so this is what happens with a lot of meme coins and this is why with meme coins you don't want to just buy and hold forever meme coins are like war you want to get in and you want to get out you do not want to stay in these type of meme coins forever so a lot of meme coins like this you know you get in you get out once it pumps huge because it's always going to have a big pullback and then once it has that big pullback you get back in and then you get back out right so it looks like people are trying to get back into pepe 2.0 we have 10.1 percent up in the last 24 hours so all that's good um and they bit they posted this earlier saying consolidation is he is healthy after any parabolic run which is good you know which is true you know consolidation is healthy and you know that's kind of what we have here and you know it peaked out all the way up here at the top of the fibonacci and what we're seeing right now we've hit that support down here with with pepe 2.0 so it looks like it's about to get ready to go back up so if you also look at here with the momentum wave bands you can see you know once we get back up there our next real resistance for pepe will either be at this uh fibonacci or it'll be at this next fibonacci up here so it'll be at the 14 area there or the one one area there so that's pretty much what we're looking for here with pepe 2.0 but i'm pretty much just letting y'all know this because you know a lot of people you know because first of all someone told me to go over this inside the comments right but a lot of people who are getting in on these meme coins you know they're trying to buy and they're trying to hold forever someone over here says what kind of consolidation is this it's not consolidating it's dumping so, this is what a lot of people are looking at so hey maybe it is dumping maybe it's consolidating but you also got to remember it's still up 273 percent in the last 30 days when it peaked out up here it was not 273 percent it was more like a thousand percent when it peaked right a little more than a thousand percent like it was like a thousand percent really when it peaked so now it's like 273 percent so if you want to say this is actually a pullback i would say it is consolidation um a lot of people are talking about how it's crashed um and a lot of people are also mad because they migrated from a different contract if you look at the old contract more people are holding the old contract than they are the new contract this is another thing with a lot of these meme coins and like if you look over here like people aren't able to get their money out of this contract but there's still 13.8k holders like they're not able to get their money out of here so a lot of people are really angry with that i guess some people are able to and some people are not able to get their money out because you know you can see you can obviously see money's going from these wallets to bitmart so you can bet like people are probably sending it to bitmart so they can sell so people if you're watching this then the way for you to sell is probably to send your money from your wallet to bitmart because that's what it's looking like it's looking like people are sending the bitmart and they're selling from bitmart so like these people they have completely emptied their wallets that's what it's looking like and they're selling on bitmart that's, that's kind of what it's looking like here so i uh, just want to let people know like maybe buy bit because it looks like people are get, going from buy bit to bitmart but yeah anyways the old contract the new contract you know that that kind of confuses a lot of people so you want to remember that so this is kind of me just kind of going over Pepe 2.0, seeing is it really legit? Is it worth it? Me personally, I wouldn't buy and hold something like this. This is something that you get in and you get out. Right now it's at $39 million market cap. So let's say you can get in now. Let's say it goes up to like 100 billion, or not 100 billion, 100 million. Let's say it goes to 200 million, 300 million. You would probably want to get out around there. Or maybe it goes to a whole billion. Because if you think about it, from 39 million, 
to a billion. That's a lot. You know, that's a lot inside of gains right there. So, you know, typically, like if you see that it's way over like 500 percent, maybe over a thousand percent, that's usually when you want to, you know, start taking your chips because it's probably going to pull back. So I would say a thousand percent is probably a good one to look at. But yeah, this is this is uh, it looks fairly decent, but it's still a meme coin. So, you know, you get in, you get out. So, you know, people wanted me to go over this. So I'm going over it. You know, people are saying it's not consolidating. It's a scam. This is a rug pull, blah, blah, blah. Pepe is pumping and Pepe 2.0 is dumping. Um, yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are looking at this like, no, nah. someone says Pepe 2.0. It's falling a lot. Is there really going to be an explosion? How many zeros will be cut? Blah, 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 blah. So I think some people here truly believe that this is not real. They think that this is a scam. And that's usually how it is with all meme coins. So I can't really tell you whether this is good meme whether this is a good meme coin or not. But you know, they obviously believe it is. You know, when I say they, I mean the developers, they say soon money from Bitcoin will flow into memes. If you miss Pepe, don't miss your chance on Pepe 2.0. You know, the same type of marketing as other meme coins. You know, with Pepe, they're like, you know, if you miss your money on Doge, Shiba Inu, or um there is a lot of other ones going on at the time, but they are like if you miss your money on that. You know, you can get it in on Pepe. So that's that's what they're looking at here. But we'll see exactly what happens because, you know, a lot of people, when when something like this is starting to go up, you know, the people that doubt it, they usually miss the run. But then sometimes, you know, it really does end up, it really does end up being a scam sometimes. So we don't know whether or not it's a scam and you will never know. That's the thing with these meme coins. If you do, you just kind of got to stick it out, you know, <laughs> but this type of stuff, you don't want to put all your money in. Like you just want to test the waters a little bit. You don't want to put too much in. You put too much in, that's when you get burned. That's when you start to be bitter, like a lot of the people in the comments, because you know they lost a lot of money here. So, you know what? What can you take away from this? Well, what you can take away from this is that Pepe 2.0 has pumped a lot. It's either consolidating or it's being rug pulled and dropping. But either way, whenever you have a meme coin that has went up so much recently like pepe 2.0 just did it usually crashes immediately after that look at what happened to it the first time around back in uh 2023 around july when it pumped what happened it pumped all the way up here to the top but it immediately pulled back and then it did not recover until the next bull market and when it tried to recover it dropped again and now you know it kind of recovered here but it dropped again before it could make new all-time highs and now that it's done that if it continues to go down and it goes below this level here, which um, I can't even read all the zeros because it's too many zeros right there. But if it does go below that level, which I believe that's uh, eight zeros, if it goes below the seven zero to the eight zero amount, that's probably where you want to be looking at it. Like, OK, this isn't going to recover because we're in a bull market. There's no there's no explainable reason why it should not be performing well right now. Literally every crypto is performing well. If this crypto is not performing well, then it's probably a scam. It's probably not going to do well at all. But what I will say is it's up 10.1% in the last 24 hours. So that's good. And the last seven days, though, it's down 12.4%. So if tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and after tomorrow, if that does not go, if it doesn't go up like 5% per day or 3% per day, at least 3% per day, if it doesn't do that for the next week, then this is probably something that you don't want to be in. This is probably something that you want to get away from because what we're really looking at is the other cryptos and how well they're doing. If we can't do 3% in Pepe 2.0 every single day for the next week, this is not worth it. This is not worth it, all right? So that's what you want to look out for. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment in the comment section. And um, yeah, let me know. And also let me know what you guys want me to go over next because someone requested that I go over this. So, you know, that's why I was like, you know what? I might as well go over it. So that's why I went over this for you guys. Shout out to the people leaving comments. Some people left some comments for some coins that seem like scam coins that I don't even want to touch. Uh, some people have comments for coins that are way, way too new that had like $200,000 market cap. I won't touch those either. This one at least had 39,000 or 39 million in market cap. It at least has a lot of people following the Twitter. It at least has a community behind it. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go over this for y'all. But some of the ones I can't go over. But yeah, let me know what you guys want me to go over next. Hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. 
And as always, I'll be back with another video.